You're welcome back. Farah Dagogo, the People's Democratic Party governorship aspirant, who is also a member of the House of Representatives representing the Boni Degema constituency, uh, was arrested yesterday. A uh, policeman attached to government house Port Hackett in River State arrested him at the venue of the People's Democratic Party South South Zonal um, Screening in Port Hackett, where governorship aspirants were being screened. The arrest came after the River State Governor Yeson Wiki had a day earlier declared Dakogo wanted for allegedly sponsoring cultists to disrupt the PDP sectariat, which was a venue of the screening of the aspirants. Now, joining us to look at this, uh, we have a human rights advocate, Haya King Esquire, and of course, uh, he's, we're also joined by the uh, Vice President, uh, Rivers West of the People's Democratic Party, Dr. Name Robinson. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, well, thank you very much. For okay. Time. Yeah, Dr. Name Robinson. Well, please tell us what exactly is going on. Um, such a very eminently qualified person, a member of the House of Representatives, was declared wanted by the leader of your party in River State and the governor, uh, uh, Ezewon Yes on Wiki. Why? You know, first and foremost, we are in a democratic uh, society. And being a democratic society, the citizens will all to be law abiding. We ought to observe and obey the tenets of the law to the letter. This period, we know that party primaries, party purchase of funds, etc., are ongoing. The aspirants for the offices of state house of assembly, as of the representative, and the city. Went for screening at the party secretary two days ago. And the process, as we all know, ought to be free, fair to everybody. Unfortunately, hoodlums find, found their ways into the party secretaries and the surrounding uh, areas. They did not just go there to, as uh, members of the party to support whoever they believe they are supporting or going there to observe the processes as citizens. But they went there with arms, ammunition, etc. And these hoodlums were identified with Farah Dagogo. Farah Dagogo, as we know him, is a member of the Federal House of Representatives, representing Boni Degema Federal Constituency. He's a lawmaker, and he ought to know what the law says. He ought to know how citizens should behave, conduct themselves at every point in time, especially in public places. Farah Dago, as a lawmaker, ought not to associate himself with issues that have to do with hooliganism, courtism, etc. But all these courtes, boys that were found arrested within the party secretariat happens to be persons that were related or associated with Farah Dagogo. Okay. Based on the fact that the, the state governor, the state governor as a chief, yes, is the one wicked, had to declare him wanted. Because as a lawmaker, he ought not to identify with oligarchism, with good laws. All at right. any point of the yeah, So, Dr. Robinson, Ewo, uh, so you're saying Farada Gogo was not at the uh, um, the the state party secretariat, but the people who went there um, to disturb the process were associated associated with him, and these are cultists. Yeah. You say, okay, mm -hmm. all right, uh, uh, m m uh, Mr. King. You and River State, your human rights advocate, I've seen some statements coming from the human rights community in River State regarding it, but you've heard for the, from the Honorable PDP Vice Chairman, Rivers West, that um, Faradagogo's boys or boys or, you know, associated with him, cultists, went to disrupt activities in the process at the PDP party secretariat. That's why he was declared wanted by the governor. Your thoughts? Well, um, thank you very much, for having me. I can hear the voice. I'm not even seeing your face. I only see my face and the other uh, discussion. I want to start by saying that I may not want to really go into the merit of the allegation, uh, but I will simply say that uh, I will simply look at the major issue and the issue that I look at is whether 
the governor of Riga State has power to declare any citizen once uh, talk more of a, a representative, a, a half of a representative uh, a member. Why we say so is that because um, the constitution has made provision uh, of the powers of the president, the, the House of Prayer, the House of Assembly, and the president of Nigeria. Uh, we in the civil society, uh, we are interested in uh, the rule of law. Let the rule of law take its course. If Father Dagogo has uh, breached any, uh, committed any offense, or sent people to commit an offense, uh, he should be investigated. And when investigated, he should be uh, you know, prosecuted accordingly. That's our position. But a situation where the governor or the president just issues verbal orders and the police carries them out, it's a dangerous one for our uh, adult democracy. I don't want to call our democracy fledging democracy. I don't want to call it emerging democracy because at 23, uh, the democracy will be 23 by uh, uh, May uh, of, uh, of this year, 2022. By that's about a month and today is 29. Okay, 29th April. So in a month time, 29th April 2022. So in a month time, we will be 23 years old as a democratic nation. So 23 years old is a man, is no longer a teenager. So we are man. Nigeria is a man when it comes to democracy. So our man democracy should not be seen to be violating, uh, you know, uh, human rights and not following the rule of law. Like I said, does the governor have right to issue order? This person, so that I'm talking now, the governor can just say in the government house in Portacos, issue order, I will go and arrest higher things. And police will sheepishly come and arrest me because I'm talking or I have committed an offense. No, the, the governor ought to write or get a lawyer, the attorney general, the right to petition, he should be arrested and then uh, investigated and prosecuted. You should look at the, the, the truth with which this thing is. I'm talking to politicians because all of you, whatever you say today, you leave tomorrow. What about if the, the, the Buhari now be Claire, go, go and arrest me, sir. and they'll come and arrest me. Two people like us will keep quiet. I will not keep quiet. Okay, because he has just issued orders, and uh, and uh, Father Dagogo is now arrested. You have now said in Abu Dhabi, come on, go and arrest me. Sir. Okay. I will not keep quiet. So, 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 what, what you're saying? And say it is wrong. Yeah. So we are so, talking about the law yeah. and the rule of law. So, so, so barrister, what you're saying is that the, the governor has the power to. Yeah. So, what you're saying is the governor does not have the power to declare. Anyone wanted? Is that what you're saying, Barrister? That's what we are saying. Because we have said that before, even when you declare from uh, uh, people wanted in the power, we said no. There is no such power. I don't know why the police they keep on carrying out this order, including the president. The president of Nigeria does not also have such power. It is the police that have power to investigate the matter. After you investigate the matter, people will be arrested. Just like EFCC financial crime, they will investigate. And after that, the people will be arrested. All right. All right. Uh, but Marisol, uh, uh, please permit us to bring back in the Honorable at this time. Yeah. Uh, Honorable, Dr. Honorable Robinson, um, we've, been, we've, we've been witnesses to the, um, the rhetoric. Um, this gentleman, uh, Farad Agogo, uh, who is a former Niger Delta agitator, he's been very vocal, um, questioning or calling for uh, uh, internal democracy in the PDP in River State, calling uh, 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 on the members of the party not to allow one man uh, to be in charge of the party in the state. Um, do you think that, that his rhetoric and his statements have led to this moment where he has been declared wanted and arrested subsequently taken to court and remanded in custody. Well, anything is possible for the politician. Yeah, uh, Mr. King, Mr. King, that, that question was directed to, to, me? to Robinson Ewo. Yes, yes. Is it me? No, no, no. That's honorable. Honorable Robinson Ewo. Okay, honorable. Okay. okay. Yeah, Dr. Robinson Ewo, please it's go on. Is beyond declaring Farah Dagogo wanted. The issue before us as is being canvassed by the civil society young man in, in the in the studio there is uh, about the law and issues of the law must go before the court for the court to interpret whether the governor within the confines of his power have the right or the powers to declare Farah Dagogo wanted is for the court to interpret at this point. But the issue before us is 
the conduct of a federal lawmaker, a lawmaker of a high repute in the Federal House of Representatives, his conduct both in the public and in private calls to question whatever action he takes, both in private and in public, affects whatever it is, whatever the society we face. At this point, let us look at the conduct of this father that we are talking about. As a federal lawmaker, what are his rights? First and foremost, it's not about the law. He's an ordinary citizen. He's a citizen like all of us. We are subject of the law. We are subjected to the law. We are within the confines of the law. If we misbehave, we ought to face the law. Farah Dagogo is before the police as we speak. Whether it is within the right of the governor to declare he wanted or not, we have gone beyond that at this point. It is for the court now to look at, investigate the conduct of Dagogo, whether it's associated with the courts, whether it's a courtist himself, all the issues surrounding the disruption of the activities of the party. But, 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 yeah, Dr. Robinson, be, before, because, before, of because of time. Uh, this so, is yeah, the before the court now. Yeah, because Dr. Owo, well, because of time, let's look at the fact that Father Gogo seems to, uh, is actually out to contest for the position of the governor of River State. And he has said in previous weeks and months uh, that nobody should be allowed to be an emperor, to be a dictator in the PDP. So obviously he was referring to the governor. And the talk is, is that the governor does not want him to contest for this position. So why was he declared wanted a day to the PDP primary? A screening, sorry. The, the PDP no, governorship no, 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 screening. No, 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 no. The issue is not whether he wants to protest governorship or not. Because we have over 12 persons that purchase form for the position of governorship in River State. And I'm sure Farah Dagogo is one of them. Outside Farah Dagogo, who else is complaining? Dictatorship in PDP, I don't think is there. PDP is a democratic party. The governor is a member of the PDP, just a single member. The governor himself is running an election. And he, the governor, is passing from the playing ground. I don't think this issue has anything to do with whether or not the governor wants to contest the governorship or not. Just like every other person that is contesting the governorship. All right. All right. All the conduct himself. In a way and manner that you can talk because you are contesting the office of government, will not give you an extra right of power. Okay, uh, uh, Doctor Doctor Robinson, this is is quite interesting. What you're saying is that Doctor Robinson, what you're saying is that the the the, the honourable. Uh, and his arrest and his declaration of uh, his de being declared wanted and his subsequent arrest has nothing okay. to do with his uh, uh, um, very, very tough stance against um, uh, what he calls the dictatorship by the governor and the party and his, his uh, um, ambition to become the next governor or at least contest the PDP primaries. We'll take some more time to con consider the situation. Of course, come back to it as events unfold. But I want to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Name Robinson Ewo, is the Vice Chairman of the PDP in Rivers West Centura District, River State, and of course, uh, a higher king Esquire lawyer and human rights advocate. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. And that's the size of our show. Thank you very much for joining us all through this week on Plus Politics. We return on Monday. My name is Kofi Bertels.